we are now sophisticated enough. You can't do it every time flawlessly, but you can make products and in, you know you can engage people in ways that are driven by theory, where they just can't stop doing something. Where it's it, you know you can start to design that, and that's really pretty new. Our understanding of how to do that is is really recent. We spend so much time in the business world talking about what makes people buy something, what makes them engage with it originally. This book is about the next step, what makes them unable to stop doing that thing once they've bought it. People think of addiction as something that's going on in the brain. You know, like you, you take a puff of a cigarette and your brain does something, you get the dopamine rush and you're addicted. And that's not true at all. That's part of it. But every time a kid has ice cream, that you get that same rush. Every time you're in hospital being treated with pain meds, you get the same rush. But you don't always develop an addiction. The addiction has to be treating, scratching some psychological itch. You never really know what you're going to get when you release content on the web or when you pull the handle on a slot machine, and that's what makes us persevere. So, you know, the thing that was useful in the environment when we'd evolved a millennia ago that pushed us to keep looking for food, and that's the reason we're here and our ancestors who just lay down and didn't persevere are not here, that was useful once upon a time, but that same tendency hasn't evolved quickly enough to deal with the fact that we're now that perseverance drive is, is massively ramped up to the point where we just can't stop. I mean, the interesting thing about what I talk about in the book, th these addictions affect over 50% of the populations. 